Hi, I wanted to show you guys really quick how to use and edit the digital parent flipbook. So the OG printable version is now digital. Just like any other digital resource, you're going to download the PDF instructions from TPT and then you will make the copy file to your computer and this is what you're gonna see and this is how you will edit it. The first page is going to be the instructions. So aside from the PDF instructions that you have, you're also going to see this instruction on the first digital page. There will be a how-to video, which is actually this video will be here. So you'll find that video on your copy of the digital parent flipbook. Then you're also going to find all of your different tabs and the cover of the tabs. So let's take a look at how to edit this first. You can edit any part of this digital resource except for the colored backgrounds. So the colors that I have chosen here are the colors that you are, the only colors you're going to be able to use currently. You can change the font, you can change the size of the font, you can edit what it says, you can move, there's some a couple other icons over here on the side that you can change out to put on the cover. And I'm gonna add some more so you have more than three. And then you have all of those options, the, the tab options that were on the front page here. I've added them to the side so you can just move them over to the tab. And I'll show you how to do that as well. So again, you can change whatever the front is saying. If you wanted to add pictures, you're simply just going to insert image, upload your from, uh, from, upload from the computer, and you can resize it and do all of that fun stuff. If you wanna move a text box, you can certainly do that. When it comes to the tabs, what you're going to need to do is determine what each of your tabs is going to say. Now you do in your digital download from TPT, with, along with the instructions, you have the printable sample of, I think it's this one, yeah. Um, you have the printable samples so you can see what I put inside of my parent flipbook. Now with digital learning, yours might look a little differently because teaching is a little different right now and that's okay. So you're going to want to determine what all of your tabs are going to be and then choose your icons and move them over. I do recommend doing this first only because when you do this first, so let's say you want to do transportation as your first tab and I want to change this to transportation, it's hard to type and look around my phone at the same time. So you have transportation there. So then you can select it, copy it, and then if you want it to be in the same exact spot on the next slide, then you would just copy it onto that page. Now let's say you wanna put this down here. Um, we're just gonna leave it right there. I want it to show up on all of the slides, so I just copied it with Command-C or Control-C if you're on a PC. And then you'll just uh, Command-V or Control-V to paste it. You can also right-click paste as well um, on each page. It's just much faster if you know the keyboard shortcuts on to each one if you wanted to do it that way. That way, when you come back to each slide, all of these tabs are already done. You don't have to keep redoing them. So if you wanted to, you could delete all of these from here, do um, your cover page here, and then just copy this whole section, right? The whole section, there we go. And copy and paste that onto each one and then just delete the top tabs as you're going through it. So you could certainly do that if you wanted to. Let me put that back. Um, okay, when it comes to editing the text here, you will just edit it. You can change the font, change the color, change the size. If you wanted to add pictures in here or something, you could certainly do that again. It's just insert image, upload from computer, um, and then it'll pop up here and then you can just resize it and do all of that fun stuff to it. When it comes to sharing the file with parents, you can easily click share and send them the link and tell them to use it in presentation mode. You can send them the, the fourth copy link, which if you're not sure how to do that, Google will be your best friend since it is a Google resource. Um, if you do a quick Google search, it'll surely tell you how to do that. Or you can also just click share and type all of their email addresses in it and send it straight to them. 
It is pretty straightforward. It's very easy to manipulate the pieces and the text and change the text and edit all of that stuff to make it really fit the needs for your classroom. I would love to see your digital parent flip book. So please tag me on social media if you do share it so that I can see your classroom creation in use and ready to go for the new school year.